The big question here is actually who is in custody. This whole saga uh, concerns RKS Samsic. That's the 12th place team finisher in the Tour de France. Uh, we know that two team members in are in custody, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's any of the cyclists on the team. Uh, we actually believe it's some of the medical personnel who's actually traveling alongside the team and looking after them. And that would explain what the prosecutor's office say is health products and drugs that could be used for doping that they found during a hotel raid last week. Uh, so far, the team's general manager has had no comment. But we're actually learning this morning that this has been going on for about a week now. Uh, there was a raid carried out last Wednesday in Maribel, that's pretty close to here, in Lyon. And that's a good five days ahead of the actual finish that we saw this weekend uh, along the Champs-Élysées. Now this whole saga, it really does cast a bit of a doubt on this year's Tour de France. We were just talking uh, yesterday after the finish uh, about how successful this year's Tour has been, despite all the setbacks, whether it be through the coronavirus or a change of the course or uh, any of the other obstacles that the Tour has actually come up against. Uh, and it's really come a long way. It's moved against its reputation for doping that it's struggled to overcome for years and years now. Uh, notably, of course, Lance Armstrong being involved in that. Uh, there's still many questions at this point, but overall, it really looks like the Tour might might find itself embattled in yet another controversy uh, after years of moving away from its reputation of doping.